for you to get a file, all this normal file. Get the file, keep it there very, very well. You understand? It's going to be needed. When you want to do your clearance, it will be needed. <laughs> guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your favorite girl rachel Favy, and she's back again giving you the old test gist like all testing you trust me now yeah so in today's video i'll be talking about things they don't tell you before getting admission into a tertiary institution see there are some people that oh they have gained admission like they said that September time and some people are yet to resume, some people are about to resume. Yeah, this is October. I ought to have made this video since, but like, I'm always postponing it. What's it? Like, why? I don't know. <laughs> I'm always postponing. Maybe it's because of, I'm always, I'm thinking about the noise, you know, I'm in school. I'm thinking about the noise, all those things. See? So that is it. So I'm, today there's no noise. I don't want the noise that is going to affect the video I want to make. Yeah. So, um, I've been here. Um, did I say I'm, I've been here? <laughs> yeah, I am there. You understand? I'm trying to say I am still in school. So, so far, so good. All the years I've been in school, I've been able to have the knowledge. Yeah, I've gained the knowledge of all oh, these are the exact thing that we need to know before getting admission to a tertiary institution. No one is going to tell you that. No one is going to come at you and sit down here. Two so and so. Same place, something. First thing first. You are a first time student. Take notes. Accommodation. Did I even say accommodation first? Acceptance fee. You pay acceptance fee. Accommodation. Accommodation. See, even though you, want, you need to look for where you're going to place your head to sleep. You understand? I'm trying to say accommodation, registration. There are a lot of registration you need to do. You need to cut some receipts. Even though you don't be able to cut some, there are some major things. You need to get some files. You understand? I'm trying to say some five needs to do a lot of things. So that is it. So you've been in school. There are a lot of things you need to know. You understand? I'm trying to say. So that is that is it. Just know that you're a first time student. You will need money for a lot of things. Money, M O N E Y. You will need money for registration. Money for different things. Yeah, there are a lot of things you need to cut. Cut some receipt. You be, you need to cut some receipt, so you need money for a lot of things. Bring me to the second one: budget, budget, budget. You need to learn how to budget. You need to learn how to save. You are thinking like how? See, let me tell you something. You are in school, though. It's even though they send you money, your parents are sending you money or something. Take notes. It can never be enough like that. Take notes. It's only few. It can never be enough like that. You understand what I'm trying to say? So that's it. You need to learn how to save. You need to learn how to budget. And that is why this leads me to you learning how to cook. You need to learn how to cook. Okay, I think, why am I saying learning how to cook? See, if you're that kind of person that is always eating outside, you can't compare the money you'll be spending outside and the money you will spend for you cooking at home. You understand what I'm trying to say? There's a huge difference. Even if you want to eat outside, it should be once in a while. But it shouldn't be frequently because you say you want to be eating food outside. Madam, <laughs> count the amount, um, calculate the amount. Morning, afternoon, evening. You understand? Calculate the amount you're going to be spending. Okay, now, look at it though. You'll not be um, spending on um, transportation to school, all those things. So, you need to learn how to budget. You need to learn how to save. Because, let me tell you something. You have the mindset that, oh, you have finished this particular thing. A lecturer is going to come and say, oh, I've dropped this particular handout for you. I've dropped this handout for you. You put sugar and photocopy. You want to come and start calling your parent and saying, please, they say, they, they say we should cut, um, um, we should go and photocopy a particular handout. No. No, that is it. No, it, they are not going to tell you that one. You, you don't need to come and start calling your parent. The little one they have. See, that's what I'm saying. You need to budget. Budget is the major thing. You need to budget. You understand what I'm trying to say? So that is it. So this leads me to the third one. See, you know I said it in the first one I said, that you need to make a lot of registration. All those registration you are making, please. Please keep the receipts very well. Keep the documents very well. In short, if it's for you to get a file, all this normal file, get the file. Keep it there very, very well. You understand? It's going to be needed. When you want to do your clearance, it will be needed. See, let me tell you something. That, that is it. In short, all those receipts, you can use that collect book later on. Depending, you know. <laughs> depending, it's not about, depending. Keep those receipts very, very well. It is very important. 
Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Just get a file, put it there. Make sure you keep your things. Even though you want to play, make sure you keep your documents very well. Else later on, you come and start looking for how to cut another one. See, let me tell you something. When I was in uh, my second year in school, I actually misplaced my... Was it second year or first year? I actually misplaced my matriculation receipts. The way it seemed got misplaced. And I don't know. It was not later on. And I realized that, oh... Oh, we need to keep this. We needed this receipt. You understand? They asked us, they told us that we should go and bring that receipt. I had to start looking for it. Do you know Because I couldn't get it. I don't want that stress. I had to go and pay another money to cut that receipt. Like as if I'm just um, 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 making that registration again. You understand what I said? So please, though, the mistake that happened to me should not happen to you. Please, any receipt that you cut in school, just keep it. You understand? Keep it very, very well. It's very, it's going to be needed. It's going to be needed. Okay. And so this leads me to the next one. Step out of your comfort zone. See, you are in school. It is time for you to make new friends. You understand? And I say make new friends. Not friends that will influence you. Not friends that we will, will, will not allow you to be able to read your book. No, it is time for you to meet new people. We don't know tomorrow. You understand what I'm trying to say? Even though one friend is not good, there are thousands of friends in that school that you can still meet. Thousands of people in that school that no matter where you are going to meet them and you even be able to make more than how many friends you want. Mind you, make friends that is going to benefit you. You understand what I'm trying to say? People that are going to be good. People that are going to help you academically. You understand? Don't just make friends that, oh, they're not going to help you at all or anything. You understand what I'm saying? Make friends that are going to help you. That are going to be very, very good. They are going to help you in anything you want to do. Friends that know that, oh, you can read together. And let me tell you something. Oh, what can I play? Make Jack a Doll Boy. See? Hmm. If you want to flex, you flex. Flex with brain. <laughs> flex with brain. That's all I have to say. I, I, you get that just right. You get that just right. And this leads me to the next one. You need to study. Hmm. See, the sharing institution is not like secondary school that if somebody feels like this, the mother can go and beg them and beg the principal, the teacher, and say, please let my, let my uh, child uh, pass. Let them pass or something that you give them gifts or something. Let them pass. No, you're on your own. You're on your own. Have that back of the mind that you need to study. You need to study. See, people, they, there's always carryover. Oh. There's always carryover. And it's, that one is you will be because when your mate are graduating, you cannot be able to graduate. There's always carryover. So you need to study hard. And let me tell you something. Pressure is always there. And I say pressure is always there. You can resume school now and they'll tell you that four weeks to exam, you'll be confused. <laughs> you should not be counting the weeks. How many weeks to exam? You understand? They can say eight weeks to exam now, and like play, like play is, is getting close. You just wake up one morning and you just see that ah, today's exam. So that is it. The, the pressure will be there, and you you need to study. You need to study. You need to study ahead. You don't need to study on the day of the exam. You understand? What I'm trying to say. So that is it. Just like now, when I resume school, I start hearing that seven weeks to exam. Eight weeks to exam. Ah uh, 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 they will never let you for rest. Eight weeks to exam was so fit. Like even when I was in my year one, I always noticed that thing. Like if you just look try they'll start telling you eleven weeks to exam, twelve weeks to exam. Like play like play. They are reminding you that oh this is your purpose. Start reading. You get what I'm trying to say. So don't forget, study. That is the major aim. That's why your parents sent you to school. Oh. You understand what I'm trying to say? Study. Study. <laughs> so this leads me to the last one. Check up on yourself. Health is well too. You understand what I'm trying to say? If you are sick, don't just ignore it. If you see some signs, don't just ignore it. You can go to the school clinic. You can get some drugs. Health is well. So let me tell you something. If anything happened to you today, they won't say they want to close down the school. Oh. It's only your cosmic that can just let them give you some minute silence. God forbid, but that is it. 
you need to check up on yourself even though you're that kind of person that oh you want to get gain um get um distinction or something also check your health check up on yourself if you are sick or something take medications you understand i'm trying to say so that is it so guys thanks for watching i hope you do enjoy this video yeah and don't forget to put that in the comment section below some basic point things i'm unable to list over here there are numerous things so there are numerous things but i, I'm, I just wanted to list only this one this ones are important you understand so don't forget to put it down in the comment section some things that oh i did not list and you feel that oh it's supposed to be added okay and i'll be there to reply so thanks for watching much love i got for you bye and I wish you success in your academics career. Yeah, bye.